Hi, it's Julie Henricus, and today I want to pop on here and give you three ideas or three ways to recharge your creative batteries. Now, next week's masterclass is going to be six ways to unlock your creativity. I'm really excited about it. I'm working on the masterclass now, and there are three opportunities to take it. So do sign up. The link uh, is in the bio or down below, uh, and I look forward to seeing you there. It's going to be live and online, so I will would love you to come with questions because I'm happy to answer them. But for some folks who are on a creative track, uh, they may feel burned out or frustrated creatively right now, right this very minute. So I'm going to suggest a couple of things. The first thing is go to your calendar and over the next couple of days, find a block of time and mark it off and just write self. You don't have to explain it to anyone. I'm going to tell you what to do with that time. But find some time for yourself and for your creative self to recharge this weekend. Now, there are a couple of ways, actually three, I want to talk to you about of ways to recharge. The first way is to um, take a break. When I'm writing and I'm stuck, I knit or I take a walk. A friend of mine, when she's in a plot place and she's stuck as a writer, she plots. Another friend of mine who's a theater director, she bakes when she's stuck. Doing something else while sort of keeping this in your mind is a helpful way to recharge. It helps your creativity find new ways, feel less pressure. Because if, I'm ju if I just sit down and say, I'm going to write a story right now, chances are it doesn't happen easily. <laughs> um, so it's easier if I do something else and then have a pen and paper ready to go or have the computer on so that I can sit down you know, to recharge yourself. So take a walk, download a game on a um, computer. If you're in rehearsal right now and all you've got are short breaks, download something or read something. Those are ways to just take a break from constantly thinking about what you're trying to do. The second idea I have for you is to read or experience something that inspires you to be better in your creative path right? So for me, that means um, I go to see plays, but I'm not an actor. I That just sort of feeds my creative soul. Um, but I'm a writer. So I'll download books of people I admire and who I, I don't think I'll ever be able to write as well as. And I read them because it just, and I read them with gratitude. Never beat yourself up for not being as good as you think you should be. And never ever um, to deride somebody else's, well, if that got published, I should be able to get published, is not the energy you want to put out in the world. Read something that inspires you. It might be rereading something. It could be reading something very old. Uh, it could be finding a favorite author and just doing it. If you're a painter, it might be going to a museum and seeing something. But, but find the things that give you aspirational um, ideas and dreams as well. And don't deride yourself because you're not there. If this is a journey, it's not a destination. Just use these to inspire you to learn more, to do things differently and all that. My third idea comes from Julia Cameron's um, wonderful book, The Artist's Way, and that is to go take yourself on an artist date. And you could do this with other people, but I like to do it by myself so I don't have to explain to anyone else what I'm doing and I'm also um, can just be there. Now an artist date could be you sit in a coffee shop and you eavesdrop on people with your notepad. It could be that um, you go to a farmer's market and you find the perfect apples that you're gonna paint later on. It could be that you are going to um, <clears throat> go to a museum or you're going to go to the movies or you're going to just take a walk in nature and see how beautiful it is and use that with your artist eye. And again, it doesn't matter where you are in this journey, you've got an artist's eye. You have valuable insight. Use your artist's eye to explore, to view, to think about things and let them inspire you, let them wash over you. 
I find um, when I'm taking myself in an artist state, I don't do the things in my fields. So my fields are, I've been an administrator in per, the performing arts for a number of years, and I'm a writer. So when I take myself on artist dates, I go to museums or I go to galleries, or you know, I go for walks or hikes, or you know, I take a cooking class. I do things that aren't directly in my craft realm um, so that they can also give me that chance to reflect, to learn new skills, to look at things differently, to think about things differently. And I find that to be very refreshing. So those are three ways that you can reboot and recharge yourself as a creative person. I hope you found them helpful and have a great couple of days. I'll be on Instagram um, and Facebook and everywhere else. So stay in touch. And again, if you haven't signed up for the six ways to unlock your creativity masterclass which is next week wednesday and thursday what are you waiting for it's going to be epic it's live it's free it's online so you know you could do it from wherever and i really hope to see you there and do come with questions because i look forward to having a conversation hope all is well thanks so much have a great week